as a Cold War challenge. Um, so um, today we are going to be working on a series. It's called Decode the Morse Code. I know I worked on that before. It sounds fun, so let's just take a look. All right, so here is a link. I will add it to the description also, and I recommend you to work on this first. All right. I never had any Morse code experience before, so I met as well as pull out a Morse code chart. Um, just in case if I need it. Going to add this to resources also. All right. So, in this category, you have to write a simple Morse code decoder. While the Morse code is most, now most least superseded by voice and digital data communication channels, it's have to use in some application around the world. The Morse code encodes every character as a sequence of dot and dashes. For example, the letter capitalized A is coded as dot dash, letter Q is coded dash dash dot dash, and digit one is coded dot dash 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 dash. Yep. All right. Um, the Morse code is case insensitive. Traditionally, capital letters are used. When a message is written in Morse code, a single space is used to separate the character codes, and three spaces is used to separate different words. For example, the message "Hey Jude." In Morse code is four dots. So four dots is H. And one dot, so there's one space to separate. And uh, so this is means hey. This is supposed to So it's supposed to separate three spaces. Yeah, because the test is one, two, three. Yeah. So it's supposed to be three spaces, I guess. And this message means true. No, it's the extra space before after letter letter uh before after the code and nomina should be ignored. In addition to letter digits and some punctuation, there are some se special service codes. The most notorious of this is International Distress Signal SOS that was first issued by Titanic. Th that is code as three dot three dash three dot. These special codes are treated as single special character and usually are transmitted as separate words. Here it has to implement a function that would take Morse code and return human readable string. For coding purpose, you have to use ASCII character dot and uh, dash, not Unicode character. Okay, so it doesn't really help if we do that. On the testing string, the Morse code. Do have JavaScript? No, it doesn't have JavaScript. Um, let me just switch to C to C. Yeah, it doesn't have it. So we had to create a list to store. Probably I'm going to prefer a two dimensional array actually. Um, the Morse code. Oh, wait. It's actually here. Okay. Let's try that. Console log. More stash code dot dash dash. 
Let's take a look. W. Ah. Good. So it is stored. I didn't read. I saw the coffee script. I, just, I didn't read all the slash. I saw this like a address or something. All this string will return a valid Morse code. So you may skip checking. C hash. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, how suppose we solve this? So as always, I recommend you solve it first. Um, go ahead, try. It. All right. So hopefully you tried, and um, we're going to go ahead and start. So first of all, we need to. We need to be able to read the Morse code. Um, so we need to first is store. So I want to store individual characters. So store individual character into array. But in this, we need to take a look. There's two things to remember. First is a single space. So one space separate char. Three space separate word. So how should we do that? Well, first thing first is let's read the Morse code. So uh, for let i equals zero, i is smaller than Morse Morse code dot length i plus plus. So probably I'm going to so I'll create an array. Let's call this Morse code array. And um, so we're going to say Morse code So first I need to separate with space. Okay, so the first thing is um how to deal with spaces. So what I would say is it's good to be a little bit hard coded. Um Yeah, so I need to separate char. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, split. All right, let's take a look how many split. So new Morse equals Morse code dot split. And new Morse code. So it's actually worked quite well. I'm going to say, but yeah, so first thing we should separate with three spaces. Therefore, we know it's a warp. Um, 
So yeah, so that's mean we know it's a word. Then we can say for let i equals zero, i smaller than you Morse code dot length i plus plus. So we're gonna loop through everything new Morse code. So new morals console dot log. New Morse code. And now I can say we got off that. So now what we need to do is separate this space on one space. So new Morse code. That's uh, the split. So this time we're going to do a single space. And then it Hopefully it's a character, so we can use this. So we can use Morse code. So ASCII. It is ASCII, and then let's go ahead and say, uh, let's just say char. So, char, so chars dot push char. And let's console dot lock chars. I want the button design like that. The button is weird. Alright, All right, so new Morse code does split is not a function. Oh, probably need to do this. Oh my god, come on. This button's so difficult to click. Okay, undefined, undefined. Okay, uh, let's take a look. So, um, so so let me console dot log. Do this. I don't need you right now. And actually. Let me console the log char. It is on the find. Uh, all right, so let's console the log. This thing. I hope this thing doesn't work because then that means I didn't do a fancy. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So.
So I shouldn't do that because it's a ray. I forgot about that. So if I console the log char, now I should expect to see the same thing. Um, yeah. So now I need to say for let j equals zero. J less than char dot length j plus plus. Okay. So what happened is let me console the log char uh, char bracket j. All right, so we get off that, but there's actually a problem. Is a three space thing? And the three space thing. What do I mean by that? Is if we come this line out. We console the log char. Char. Yeah, so right now it's fine. But when I loop through this, uh, often get separated so I just want to read I just want to read one array at a time so now targets two I probably just make it more complicated than it should be, but <sighs> going to create another list to store all the chars. Probably this should be fine. So, so char step push char. So. Yeah, I just want to process one array at a time. So if I console dot log charles j, see what happened. All right, so we get. It's chars. Oh my God. Oh, that's a big problem. How should it look like? Okay. So you get to duplicate. Duplicate. Why do we get duplicates? Yeah, I think this way I can read each array at a time. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh. <sighs> How do I, what do I have a duplicate? Why do I have a duplicate?
Wait, what if I just do effects? No. Use three times. But okay, wait, what? Okay. Okay, let's see what is char number zero. Harkos and Rally Pro can help us to understand this better. No, that's not how we want it. Let's cancel that log entire chart again. Alright, so technically it's to array. <clears throat> um, so what I really want to do is just to read the first array, finish with that first. Well, give me four dot. Oh. Yeah, so it's doing like that. Yeah, so that's why I want to push this to the new array. If I can, that is. Let's just try to push this. Morse. Probably more stuff. Push char. Also, the lock. Morse. Okay. Alright, so now if we say charge zero, we get the Oh, sorry, I mean no. If you do this right here and indeed, we get the three array out. Um, so what should I do next is create another array. It's going to be a lot of, uh, I mean, loop. New, uh, so this is more style lane side plus plus. Alright, so... More stuff J.
Okay, that's weird. Okay, it's smaller than more stuff links. Oh, it's not I plus plus, it's J plus plus. Alright. Why we still get a duplicate? Why do we keep have a duplicate? Don't get it. Because if I just do a regular. Okay, wait, what? So right now everything is fine. I don't think I necessarily need you to put it in, but that's a problem. Plus on more the reason I use I again is because I don't want to risk every box. Uh, and it's just a local variable anyway, so I can repeatedly use it. So let's do this. Alright, so now it's working. And if I want to get a new element, I don't even know why I would want to do that. Alright, wait, what? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we need to create another array here. J lesson I. Uh, more so now to do is charms and then let's console the log more I Okay, wait. Okay, so this is a ray, right? It's an object. Yeah, I is number. So probably what should I do is I think I just think more than I should think. Cause I th think I keep doing that probably. I don't think this for loop is correct. Ah, yeah. So now we, I think we get back to where we started. 
Yeah, because I think we saw this log before, and I saw... Uh, I don't want to do that, but... Yeah, probably I'm just wasting chars. So probably going to create another video on how to make it more efficient. Um... Yeah, but anyway, now we should be able to use... Uh, this Morse code thing. Lisa uh, hope so. It's gonna give you E and D. It works, and um, just push them. So not get um in. Uh, so char start push. Uh, this thing. And let's go ahead console the log Charles. Hey Jude. But there's a problem though. So the problem is it does not create a space thing. So um pardon the yeah, yeah, um Links minus one. Who am I gonna say? Hard stop push. A single space. <sighs> Hope it works. Good. Now. Well, well, well. How to remove space at the end in JavaScript. I don't, I cannot really use split. Oh, I never learned. I never know this before. Say trim. I think that was called. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, it's a string. So, how to change array to string JavaScript? Double blah to string. Okay, so last thing is how to remove to remove char character in string JavaScript. <sighs> Place. You really need to replace with anything. Yeah, probably that make more sense. Dot trim. <laughs> Dot replace. Comma. With nothingness. Didn't replace anything though. Yeah, slash G should be more Chris globally. Slash. Oh, how to put it inside. <sighs> no, it's not working at all. Ok, 
Okay, replace W3 school. Mm, do I need to add a have a stash in front of it? Probably that's why. Alright. So I think it makes sense. So let's just return chart, see what will happen. Uh, I mean return this thing. And let's go temp. Oh, okay, we do fill two actually. I cannot see the detail. How to remove space at the front JavaScript? Yeah, because it's space issue. It should we work? It should work. <sighs> it just doesn't work. But the quick brown. Yeah, it's just base. So I'm trim get rid of everything. Okay. Got e, e expected. Okay. <sighs> so trim should be work. Let me take a look how trim work. Or should I do this Morse code trunk? I don't know. Okay, pass that test. Let me take the lock with you. Is trim not working? So 
so paint it doesn't really trim at all. New. Okay. Still for these two. Okay, so now it's working. Try to assign you more to more scope. Actually, no, I'm do it vice versa. I'm glad. I'm actually glad it is JavaScript because. Oh, great. Oh my god. Alright. Uh. Correct the model, you may take your attention to refactor come to close submits when ready. Alright, so let's just do a quick reflect. I don't know how long this video takes. Um, but so first thing is, I think I did some uh, extra, extra struggle with when I'm dealing with some loop here. Because, like, um, I don't think I need this array at all. I don't think I need this array at all, so I don't even think I need this loop at all. But I don't know. So let's do add it. And the trim issue should be. So the trim is to create a new variable. And I'm really glad it is Python. I mean, it says JavaScript. Because, like, you cannot. I don't think I read a sign string C or older language since you use pointer. I'm glad we don't have pointer in modern language as, such as JavaScript and Python. Yeah, so let me comment the code out. So, what I'm doing here is get rid of empty spaces. Separate Morse code is on individual based on three spaces, otherwise known as word. Store decoded value ASCII. And then change voice code to ASCII value. Put it into charts array. Change charts array to string. Extra spaces if needed and replace comma with the rest. Alright, that's gonna tap. Alright, pass on the test and submit final. Indeed, I'm really satisfied. Oh, that's way more easier.
Oh. No, this person didn't. I I saw why he do that because we literally have a, have a Morse code dictionary or something. So there is is much simpler way to do that. All right, great. And this thing doesn't help me at all. Actually, it does. A little bit, and yeah, that will be the end of this video. Thank you for watching.